programmers! Today we're going to talk about C programming and reading in arrays of characters. So string data where the user is typing in at the keyboard. Well, I'm going to start out with creating an array to hold in whatever the user types at the keyboard. That's going to be my array of characters of size 50. Because the last character needs to be the null character, that allows me 49 characters I could type in at the keyboard before I hit enter. Then I'm going to prompt the user with a printf, enter in your name. It's In fact, I've run the program already. It's ready to read in the name. We'll scan f by reading in from the user typing at the keyboard. This is the time that you do not need an ampersand in front of your variable name with scanf because an array of characters, um, the name of an array is itself a pointer. So that's already the address in memory where you want to store what the user's typing at the keyboard. So I type in something, maybe Jane Doe, and then I'm going to print to the screen your name is, and then whatever they typed in that I stored in the name variable. So what might be surprising is when I hit enter, it doesn't say your name is Jane Doe, it says your name is Jane. As soon as you hit a space, it stops reading in. That's the default behavior for scanf. So how can we get around that? Well, there's another command that we could use to read in instead. And to read in, that's gonna be our f get s and f get s takes three input arguments the first is the spot in memory where you want to store whatever it is you're reading in from the user the next is the maximum number of characters you want to read in including the null so 50 is the size of that array of characters and finally where do you want to read this in from uh, well because we're reading in from the user typing that would be standard input that's just another name for the user typing at the keyboard unless we redirect a file to be our input instead. So we're going to try this again with f get s and hopefully we will be able to read in a first name and a last name. So this time I'll say maybe John Baker. We've got a first and a last name with a space and woo it worked. And we could have something with three names. So Mary Jo Smith or something. And all three of those names are captured. So that works really well. F get S works great if you have spaces in your data you're reading in and it's an array of characters. But let me show you one gotcha. And I'll pause while I, while I type on the screen. Okay, I added on to my program a little if statement. If the name is equal equal to Sam, say your name is Sam, else your name is not Sam. So I'm going to try typing in Sam because I want to aim for a match there. And then we'll see that this actually doesn't match. It says your name is not Sam. So what's going on? Well, I have another video that talks about arrays of characters and how you can do things like string compare to compare to arrays of strings. But even that's going to give us trouble to use the comparison string compare, you need to include string.h and then we'll change this to string compare. And this is the function we want to use, but there's going to be one little gotcha there. String compare will return a zero if two strings are the same. So let's try that again. And let's say, well, what is my name? My name's Sam. Still doesn't match. So what I would do to debug this is take a very close look at every single character that we're comparing here. And I can do that by creating a little for loop. So let me create a counter variable. And I'm going to go through every character inside of this array of characters. And so I'll start at position zero and go to string length of name. And each time through, we'll add one. So there's only one thing I want to do here, which is print exactly what that character is. And I'm going to print it as an integer and as a character, because if I have something like a space, it's not going to really show up as a character, but I will be able to see the ASCII equivalent with percent %d. So we're going to print name square bracket x twice, once as a character, once as an integer. And then we can really get a look at what's going on when we're typing in Sam. So I say Sam, enter, and take a look. Okay, it's got the S, which the ASCII value, it must be 85. And then it's got the A, and then it's got the M. And then we've got something that is an ASCII value of 10. 
So if you look at the ASCII table, the new line character or hitting enter on the keyboard is an ASCII value of 10. So our string length, it actually thinks the string is length 4 because F get S reads in the new line character and saves that as one of the characters. So that's why comparing Sam with an enter sign at the end is not the same as Sam without an enter sign at the end. So here's how I would fix that. I would change this to string n compare and specify I only want to compare the first three characters. And then if I run this, it's going to ignore that enter sign at the end, and now it says your name is Sam. And now I don't really need this debugging statement anymore. I've figured out what's going on with this, and now we can make a match. So that was FGetS for reading in arrays of strings. Uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the, the like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.